what's up s pros and i'm here with luke and we're gonna be testing the version 1.07 update on elden ring so we're gonna be seeing right now first thing is the weapons what did they change on the weapons there's a lot of stuff that they did so overall if you just want to know what happened instead of waiting to the end of the video basically they made weapons faster colossal weapons attack faster they made a lot of spells incantations use less fp and they actually gave some poison a lot of stuff a lot of ashes a lot of incantations they made some spells better and they actually split pvp damage scaling with pve damage scaling so now it's very different so you won't be getting one shotted as easy anymore which is gonna be actually a lot of fun for a lot of people when they play pvp against other people some people are gonna be sad some people are gonna be happy but let's get on this more descriptive version now so first things first so the colossal weapon they actually increase the speed that it takes so now i can actually attack faster as you can see so the only thing that didn't change was the attack the jump attack so it's still the same for both of them but they actually did nerf the poke so you can see now the poke is actually a lot slower if you do the, the trick to actually poke faster it's gonna be like this but for people that don't know how to do it, you do a roll, it's going to be this. And yeah, it's going to be pretty bad. How much damage do you do? Well, let's see. We can see we do 472 normally. Now, if I actually two-hand this and actually poke, it's 1,129. So, this guy does have a lot of defense. But keep in mind, they actually did change the PvP scaling on damage for when we're fighting. So, one other thing. They actually change what a lot of people are going to be pretty sad. It's dual wielding weapons. The scaling on the attributes actually have been lowered. So now I have... We PvP it. Hey man, what's up? TMX11 Rice. But yeah, right now I have bleed on this and I have frost buildup. So one, we can actually see now if I attack them, normally it would take three hits. For the build up to go um, heal as you can see the effects did not activate and they still haven't activated so now they're gonna activate I'm pretty sure how much how much is your build up actually uh, one more hit see that yeah. it took another hit oh and okay. uh, the frost the frost will activate now oh, he's dead. <laughs> until now until now the frost is not activated wow see that so now that we have in mind so a lot of buildups with dual wielding weapons have been nerfed drastically so basically that means you're gonna beat up the person you're gonna kill the person before you can actually see an attribute actually appear so <laughs> you know it's I guess it's kind of fair, but at the same time, it's very exaggerated. It's not a good idea because how are you going to be fighting? And basically what that happens, what that's going to cause is a lot of people are not going to use attributes as much anymore because it's not going to activate. It's going to be good for somebody that keeps running away and you can't hit them. So we have those. And yes, guys, Seppuku was nerf <laughs> it's sad finally <laughs> for a lot of people i'm happy oh yeah <laughs> yeah so <laughs> so basically in the seppuku we can actually see i'm gonna put both blades on so you guys can see the whole thing so now when you activate seppuku you actually inflict more damage on yourself let me summon this guy so you can see my life right now is 2015 so when i do the first seppuku I wait for this guy to get some. So Seppuku actually you do a lot of damage on yourself now. So now if you stab yourself, I lost like 402 of life. So now if I do this, basically you lost 800 of life. So, and now it's not even worth it. Look. See how the bleed is not even activated? How much is your bleed right now? One more hit and then we activated. So basically... They five made hit. five hits to activate a dual yeah. seppuku, guys. So, just keep that in mind. It's still good, don't get me wrong, because you can get the attack, you get nice damage, but you can cheese your way with the bleed damage. 
So that's the thing that we had to keep in mind. So now, if we actually go, so a lot of weapons now actually have a lot more poise damage dealing. And you can two hand weapons, normal attacks, and you're actually gonna do more poise damage. Obviously this kind of thing, I'm not gonna flinch cause he, oh he did flinch, look at that. That's a bull goal set, man, with a helmet. How much poise you got? Poise right now, 96. 96 points with a two-handed katana. Do you understand that? So they increased the poise damage on your weapon. So what we had before, what we knew before, actually changed. So now we got to see the numbers again and we got to see what works. One, the good thing is all the armor actually got increased poise. That's the good thing. Some, web, some armor didn't. Like the Bulgo armor did not get an increase, sadly, it sucks, but a lot of other weapons did, I mean armor. So, I'm going to show you, I'm going to put the whole ma um, 3 Sentinel set. So you're going to see before the 3 Sentinel wasn't even that big. It was like, oh, okay, it's not going to have that much poise. You're going to be actually amazed right now that it's going to have a lot of poise. I have 82 poise with the whole set, no bull gold talisman on as whatsoever. That's amazing. So you have a lot of poise with a lot of weapons now, a lot of armor now. So it balances out. So if you really got like, if somebody like the fat stuff, um, you can actually put it on and you're going to have a lot of poise. So we see we have 91 poise at the moment, which is, that's freaking amazing, man. It's really nice. So don't be discouraged. There is going to be a lot of armor now that actually do have a lot of poise, a lot of armor. And yeah, they actually messed with that because a lot of people were complaining. So they actually made a lot of new spells better. They actually added poise. They actually added more damage on stuff. One that actually they added a lot of damage is the charge spiral and the glintstone blade. So you can charge this. And look how much damage you do. See that? That's ridiculous, man. 784. So you do nice, massive damage. I don't even have any talismans on to actually help me. Only this one, I guess. That's the only one. And this one. But if you really focus on doing a nice build, you can do massive damage. Another thing they actually increase, they actually increase the, the power of this one. So you do a lot more damage with the cannon of Haima. Which is actually pretty good because I always thought it did massive damage anyway, but it didn't. So they actually also made Founding Rain Stars a lot better. They made it faster casting and you can do more damage faster. But the only problem is it's still weak. That's the problem as you guys can see. So just keep in mind some spells will have increased damage, but it's still not going to be as worse. So now we have the Freezing Mist. This actually gives you the frost build up a lot faster. So we know before it didn't activate at all. Like look at that. It actually activated a lot faster than usual guys. Before it did not activate. Like you had to be there for like an hour. That's exaggerating but you know. <laughs> it was awful. This one they actually. You can cast this while moving now. Which is pretty good. And that, this one I obviously liked because it did a lot of massive damage. So it was always pretty good. So now we're gonna see Burn Old Flame, which is an incantation. It's actually one of my favorite incantations, but I didn't use it in this game for the reason that it sucked. So now when we activate it, you can see the pillars come out faster. It doesn't take that long to cast and it does nice damage. So I'm gonna show you the damage. Look at that. 744. That's really good, man. Inescapable Frenzy has actually been buffed. So this actually has, you can cast it faster, and, oh, and that deadly sin, you can actually cast it faster, <laughs> and it hurts, man. It hurts like crazy. Yep. <laughs> but Inescapable Frenzy, you, it has longer range. Look at that range. That's ridiculous. Like, you stand right there. No, stand right there. I got you, man. And it casts a lot faster. But look, look at that, man. Let me, let me get it. Let me get it. So now... We can literally be at this distance, guys. And look, he got madness. And you can, you can hit him. Which is freaking nice. I don't even have the build 
to make the madness stronger. So that's something to keep in mind, guys. So now I'm actually going to change to the other spell so you guys have an idea of what else they actually gave. So, one thing they actually added as well, guys. I know some of you guys are going to be sad, but the fingerprint stone shield actually got nerfed. So the physical is not 100 anymore. And also, the shield crash won't do the build-ups faster anymore as well. So we're going to test this out right now. So you see, I did the whole combo. So what's your percentage? And the madness is half and the bleed 75%. So you can see I have 164 bleed and I got 95 madness. So basically, you're going to kill somebody before you can actually apply the buff unless they heal. So they nursed that and actually now hit me. So now you're going to take damage. See that? And also the block, this is two-handed, guys. So you can see two-handed actually loses the stamina. It loses the stamina a lot faster. So yeah, we can now attack me normally with one-handed. So you can see, everybody that actually had the this shield, it's gonna be, it's gonna suffer now. So you can see, look at that. So now it's not gonna be like super broken. Another thing they actually did that I like. So indoor, what this does is, it actually makes it so that incoming attacks are lowered you don't take that much damage and then at the same time it gives you a lot of push so they actually buffed that so now i can actually run and attack and still have it basically it's like dark souls one two and three so i'm really happy they did that so guys right now you can see they also buff the loretta size so pull your shield right now yeah, because what happened now, the sides actually have a penetration. The show tail, all the other stuff. You can actually do more damage with it. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of damage compared to what it used to do before. And now also, Loretta Slash has poise when you actually use the attack for the first time. And it's actually pretty strong as well. As you can see, I didn't do the whole attack. But yeah, it's, it's nice, man. It's freaking nice. And now, and now we have the, oh, <laughs> so now we have the, and that thing hurts, man. Don't get me wrong, guys. This thing hurts a lot still. Don't, so don't be like really sad about it. So now we have the sword of the, of night and flame. This sword actually got a boost in, at, in actually activating stuff. So it does more, da it does nice damage. And then this spell actually does a little bit of more of a motion. So you can actually do it anywhere basically as you can see so it's really nice man it's not that bad so now we're gonna go to spells so now that tank flesh reminded me they actually nerf the dragon breath guys so dragon breath actually do a lot less damage and they actually double nerf the rot dragon breath because now the rot doesn't activate as easy as you can see look at this this is the best so, patch yet from soft literally broke the game really? for us. So you can see, yeah, exactly. It doesn't do that much damage and you didn't get rot. So and what's your percentage on the rot? On the rot nearly 85%. Exactly. With the, the pull. So you can see he was actually holding, he was waiting there for it to actually happen. So yeah, a lot of the people that use the dragon breath got that got nerves. Sad to say it, but it was kind of annoying when you fight people, they would be hiding behind that. But now, well, a lot of people, you got to think about it. A lot of people didn't want to play this game because a lot of people cheese a lot of stuff. So it's not that a lot of people don't have the amazing skills. So they have to make it so it's actually balanced for every player to actually have fun. So that's what they did. That's why they buffed a lot of spells, but they nerfed a lot of stuff that a lot of people cheesed out. So one thing they actually buffed was the Dragon Claw. So this actually has a lot more motion. It's a lot faster. You can do a lot of massive damage with that. And they also increase the Dragon Maw damage. So we can see right now. This one actually does Ooh. massive damage. Yeah. And they actually increase the range in it. So when somebody was close to you, you actually dodged that out. So that they actually fixed that. So now that doesn't happen. 
also they actually buffed so they buffed some stuff that i'm like why did they buff this the gable of hema they actually buffed it they gave it more attack so yeah <laughs> they gave more attack to the hammer itself as you can see so that's actually pretty uh it's awful man so one thing they actually buff as well is the crystal release so this actually does nice damage it staggers you and you don't stay there because before i did a video where i can show that you actually got you did nothing like you miss a lot of attacks and you did less damage now this is an explosive ghost flame is that they actually increase the range and the frost build up they actually increase that too but you can see it was pretty close wasn't it yep so now look at this damage that it does and it casts faster too which is really nice so if you stand on the flame see how much um if you get frost uh, let me do it so the frost build up you're gonna full. die you're gonna... nearly full so as not percent man that's still crazy but it's not as much it's not really good like oh my god it's gonna be life changing i mean it still kind of sucks but it's better than before guys so you give you take it it's okay one thing they actually buff and like um tank is saying yeah they buffed a lot of mages and incantations they made them faster they you use less fp which is really good for a lot of mages and a lot of weapons got buffed but a lot of stuff that a lot of people did got nerfed one thing that got nerfed that got this guy sad is you can't switch your equipment anymore and have infinite fp which is really sad <laughs> which sucks <laughs> But <laughs> they, they nerfed a lot of builds like that. It was like a bug, but they fixed it. Another thing they buffed is the triple rings of light. Look how fast this is now, man. It's ridiculous. And you don't use that much FP as, as well, which is really broken. Because if you actually get hit by this, look how much damage you do. So, yeah, you can just spam that and you can do a lot of damage with somebody. So my favorite thing that they buffed, they finally buffed it man scarlet aonia it has longer range you got poise when you do this and you can actually roll out of it that's amazing man that's beautiful so if i actually hit somebody with this now you get hit with that attack to actually stagger you so when you're jumping at someone and you stagger them, then you can hit them. And oh man. And dude is freaking amazing. So we can see how a lot of weapons do have a lot of poise breaking now, which is really crazy. Because look at this. This is a normal sword. See, only two hits with two handed and you lose your poise. That's ridiculous, man. And look at this normal attack. Is it? You see how. He's actually getting beat up and whatnot. So now we're going to change spells, guys. So give me a sec. So, guys, one thing they actually buff as well. They actually buff Wild Strike. You actually do more damage with this. Wild Strike is actually broken already since it has really high poise. Like, really high poise. But look at this damage that it does now. It's not even, it's not even, it's not even that bad. So... Now you can actually do more damage, but remember, they actually did PvP scaling. So now, they might say that they increased the damage in a lot of stuff, but in reality what they did was when they were testing it out, they were looking, oh, this is too weak, so that's why we're going to increase it. So just keep in mind, you're going to do more damage to enemies, but not necessarily to people. Another thing they actually buff as well is the Earth Tree Slam. So the Earth Tree Slam is actually faster, and it's stronger it's still a pretty pretty slow it's kind of crappy and yeah i don't think a lot of people are gonna use it anyways but i mean hey, it's, it's something man it's something another ash that they buff is the upward cut so instantly you can tell when you do it you instantly get the poise before you actually had to do it and ha wait a second to get the poise and then now you can do some massive damage with that too also, you couldn't attack normally how in other games they actually let you. So now you can do a little fake like I used to do, which is really cool. So you can dodge out of it and one that. So they actually buffed that. I, I really like that. I'm going to be using that one more because I hated what they did to it. It was shot out. It sucks. 
So one spell they buff less FP. Basically every spell they lo lower the FP um, costage of it. So just keep that in mind. So, but they increase the damage on this one. If you fully charge it, you actually do more damage. So fully charge it first. Oh wait, wait, holy crap, man! I did a lot of damage, man. All right, let me let me do that again. So this is not charged. 425. <laughs> <laughs> you suck, man. <laughs> right, let's see if I get it. Let's see if I get it. Ah, darn it! <laughs> they actually made that last longer too. Right? What the heck, man? So this is gonna, yeah, dude, that does nice damage right now. Holy crap! <laughs> so one thing they actually buff as well for strength, and you can actually use it while you move it now, is the Oracle Bubbles. The so Oracle Bubbles really sucked before, but this one is actually a lot better now. And if you actually charge it, you can. It goes a little bit faster, but obviously it does more damage. And you can see it moves a lot more forward this is worth it and eh, not really also the big bubble as well you can actually move and shoot as well but it's it's not really worth it I mean I mean eh, 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 I wouldn't use it they actually increased the Viper strike which is this thing wait wait let me <laughs> this so now there was a glitch Ooh. that it had before that it actually gave only normal poison now it actually gives you deadly poison all the time and it's pretty strong it's a lot faster to actually use so it's actually not that bad now lightning spear got buffed so that's the normal damage and if you charge it all the way you actually have increased damage so there's gonna be a lot of dark souls players again and you can see it's actually pretty a lot faster too so yeah, fully charged and I'm shooting like super fast. This spell got poised. Ooh, that that dude, oh, holy crap! <laughs> Not enough poise for that. But this actually does nice damage. Oh, this spell. I always said this spell sucked. You can actually break people's stance now. See that? You, I made him flinch. You could not make people flinch before with this crappy spell at all. And he has a bull go armor set right now. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, one thing that they actually buffed that as well was the Rancor Call. So, now this spirit will follow you longer. So, run, man. Let's see how long. Well, that's a normal one. It's not even charged. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Now, fully charged. They move a lot faster. And they will follow the enemy. See, look at that, man. Get that's, away. That's, Get away. that's nice, man. Carrion Piercer actually activates a lot faster. See that? Uh, ouch. <laughs> My ass. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. It's actually pretty nice. It's actually, the motion's a lot more smoother and it's faster. Just a, a little bit, but it's still pretty cool. Gelmir Fury, they actually buffed that. So now, it actually hits enemies more. But I mean, it still kind of sucks. Samir Ice Spear, Ice Storm. You can actually get out of it. And it does massive damage, as you saw. And you get Frost build up a lot faster as well. So they keep doing some stuff that actually is worth it. So it's not even that bad, man. It's not even that bad. So guys, they actually buffed the Frozen Lightning Spear as well. So now you actually do more Frost build up. How much do you have now? Mm. Nearly 35%. So it's a lot better compared to before. Before it was like 15%. So, I mean, it's still eh. But I think you can get hit with this attack now too. All right, man. No, no let me see it then. <laughs> but yeah, it's actually not that bad, guys. Oh, you can't. Ouch. Yeah, never mind. Do you get hit by that? Yeah. Oh, okay, you can get hit. So, guys, they actually increased Giant Hunt. And it's a lot faster, so you can see this guy do it right now to me. It's a lot faster, which is pretty nice, a lot smoother, but they actually increase the poise damage you do on it. This Ash has a lot of poise. Look at that. This guy took me out of that. You want to see how good that is? Attack me normally. 
No, 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 attack me normally, no, fool. No, no. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> this sorry, guy's sorry. inspired. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. Holy crap. Ooh. Yeah, they, they did increase the poise damage and colossal weapons when you're two handed. I uh, like it. Let's I try like it again. It. Try it again. Hit me normally with one hand. One hand. Holy crap, man. They really. They really beef people up, man. Holy moly. Okay, okay, okay. That's good, man. I like that. I like that. So, that, anyway, this has a lot of poise, but colossal weapons right now. Mmm. That looks so beautiful, man. I, I'm really happy about it. So one thing they actually yeah, bought... Yeah, I'm thinking about new build right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm actually going to use my build how <laughs> I normally do, which is going to be really cool. So now, they actually buff Spinning Slash, which is this. So this actually has more attack power now. Ooh. Ooh. So you can see, this actually does pretty nice damage. You got to remember, though, he has okay. uh, a lot it, of toys. Try. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh wait, I want to see that, man. I want. You know what, man? You you got me curious right now. I like that. I like that. <laughs> this is this is why we're doing this with this guy, man. This guy learns new stuff. All right, hit, hit me, hit me. I want to see. Ooh. Okay, okay. Not that bad. Not that bad. But yeah, guys, spinning slash is freaking amazing. Now. Impaling Trust actually does a quicker motion and Ooh. it does nice damage. So yeah, you can actually do this a lot faster now. So you can like literally poke and then boom, instantly poke somebody. It's really good. It's a nice transition. It's very beautiful, guys. So now you have Blood Tax. This is actually a lot faster too. And it actually like hit me, hit me, hit me. So now I need you to, well, let's see. See, look at even if he's blocking i'm getting a lot of life that's really good man so they actually increase the hp that you get and it's freaking amazing man it's really nice which reminds me there is uh the ash holy ground which they actually increase let me see if i have it in this character so this okay hit me hit me <laughs> this guy's enjoying that way too much. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> so this actually heals me a lot faster. Look at that, man. Wow, it's healing me really good, man. So yeah, Holy Ground actually heals you a lot faster than before, which is very broken now. So that's, man, that's beautiful. So now we have for the next one, Radagon Ring of Light. So this spell is actually a lot faster and a lot stronger. It has a smoother motion and actually gives you a little bit more of poise which is not that bad and this the poison armament and any armament you get actually gives more build up fat a lot more build up so how much you have right now with the shield half so normally how much Ooh, two hits and gonna be full so yeah you can do freezing armament, poison armament, and you can actually apply those buildups a lot faster, guys. Which is gonna be really nice. Let's, then we have. Let's try this. Let's see how much build do you have. No, it, it was literally a little bit. Like it didn't do any. It's like five uh, percent, man. Next one is the comet. The comet is actually a lot stronger. Look at that, man. That's ridiculous. I didn't even. Oh, thank you, thank you. I forgot about that. I don't even have. Uh, mage build. Look at that. 1,149 damage. That's ridiculous, man. So now... Let's see. Let's see. Oh, he has... It? Oh, 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 oh. Challenge accepted. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> almost. Ooh. Almost hit ya. But guys, Carrion Greysword actually has an increased damage as well. Ouch. Which is actually pretty Ouch. nice. Hey guys, I know some of you guys are gonna be sad, but they actually nerfed the bestial sling. So this sling is a no. lot slower. Yeah, it's a lot slower and a lot weaker, as you can see. You do a jump attack, you can do two attacks. They did increase the damage a little bit, but yeah, it's a bit slower now. And the scatter shot are now random, as random, but it doesn't do poise damage it doesn't do a lot of poise damage at all anymore i mean it doesn't for that what the heck 
<laughs> I don't know, let's see, stand, So, yeah, it doesn't do that much force damage anymore. But this actually, the blood tag, it's a lot faster. It has a nice motion. And yeah, it's okay. The scoring black flame is faster and it has Ouch. longer range. And it's stronger too. That's pretty cool. And then you got this spell. The flame fall upon them. Which is actually really strong as well. Normally it didn't do that much damage. But now. Like look at Ouch. that man. Yeah you do a lot more. Which is freaking amazing. Alright guys so we're going to have Luke. Actually show us. Some spell. Some attack ashes that are really OP at the moment right now. You got charge force. Which is what he's going to use now. Ooh, no, no. Faster. No, 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 no. Look. Yeah. This one is faster right now. Yep. They made a, some weapons attack faster. The motion is smoother. Where you can actually use items or do skills or weapons. And you can actually do a smoother transaction. Which is actually really broken. So, we're going to see. Yep, Gravita has a lot of more poise. But now, look at this, guys. You got the storm collar. It's faster in motion ouch, where ouch, ouch. and this weapon is not upgraded at all 70, if it was 70, 75 percent of frost mm-hmm yep so this weapon actually is not even upgraded the beauty of it is that does a lot of damage and you can break people's poise and you have a lot of poise with that too then you got onyx lord repulsion which actually does a big blows you away a lot wait 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 no no, no. Wait, wait, wait. let's try it with jump attack so far. Ouch. Yep. So it's actually a longer range, which is actually pretty nice. Right now my weapon's not upgraded, guys. This one's gonna be plus nine, so it's not gonna be upgraded either. So keep that in mind. So this one actually has more poise and more attack power than it does. So this actually does more attack Ouch. power. It's only plus nine, man. But this is I mean still pretty good. But yeah, man. Ouch. It's it's not that bad. Then you got the lightning slash. Lightning slash has a bigger hit marker and it's actually a lot faster too. As you can see. Ouch. Which is amazing. Flaming strike, believe it or not, actually got a buff. You do more damage with fire on your weapon now. Which is freaking amazing. And as you can see, it's a nice smooth transaction like always. But yeah. One that I liked, they increase the attack power. Okay, so they increase the attack power and the range of this one. Oh, my heal. So it's not that bad. You heal a, a pretty good amount. I still, it's, it's plus 24. I mean, it's not like, oh my gosh, it's going to do a lot of damage, but. Wait, wait. Let me try something. It's because I think there is a helmet gun above that. Yep. Yep. Oh, does it? Yeah. Try it. Okay. Royal remains, right? Yeah. All right, let's see, guys. Oh, wait, it's the wrong thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? So let's see how much I heal now. Ooh, ooh, you do heal up. Oh, snap. I didn't know that. I ha ooh, look at that, man. We learned new stuff here with you guys. That's freaking amazing. Yeah, if you want to actually do that, just put the Royal remains. And yeah, now we know. Now we know. That's, that's freaking amazing. All right, guys. So the next thing that I actually I love, man, they increase increase my beautiful finger, man. Woo! So now if you actually get close, when somebody does this ash, you get staggered. Wait, fool. <laughs> somebody, so you get staggered. So look at this. You stagger them. Boom. He has the bogo armor. So that's actually really broken, man. That's nice. That's beautiful. Another weapon they actually buff is the Ordorbis Vortex. Look how fast you can do. What, what the heck? <laughs> Look how fast you can do this. That's nice, man. That's really nice. And this does massive Ouch. damage, too. I, I always liked this weapon. And I always hated that it was really slow. But now they actually fixed it. The Unblockable Blade... They actually increase this one. So the motion is faster. 
and it's nicer and this one it also increased it as well so yeah this weapons are pretty good man a weapon another weapon a lot of you people are gonna be sad so reduce the range of the of the damage animation trigger on other players so the damage is the same but it's not as big anymore see before you can get somebody there So, it's a little bit shorter, because it was huge, man, it was really big. But it kind of sucks, because that's how you kill a lot of um, people that just hide. And this beautiful thing, the kick got poise increased, let's see. Yeah, it is! They actually increased it good. So, we're doing normally. Yep. I mean, you have a lot of poise, uh, you got 100 poise, so... <laughs> But that's really good, man. That's a lot better. Okay, okay, let's try it again. Man, you... Woo! Okay. Man, it, this guy had a poison. man. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and guys, they nerf the prelate hammer charge. Do it. Do it, I'm Finally! So look at this. You don't do that much damage. You can actually get out of it super easy. And oh, wait, wait, hit me, hit. Me. And it uses a lot of stamina. Yep. But hit me with the last hit. Look, I could actually drink in his face <laughs> while he's doing that. <laughs> do it again, do it again. I. Thank you, man. Woo! Like wow, they they destroy that weapon. That ash. Wow. I want to see. They do that, do that. Oh, what the heck? That didn't even blow up. It just hit me normally. Bloodborne. So basically. Bloodborne. <laughs> so basically, they buffed a lot of stuff. They nerfed a lot of stuff. Yeah, they nerfed that too. And it's really sad. But, I mean, it had to happen, guys. That's a sad thing. It really had to happen. And I hope you guys do enjoy this explanation. And they. Shout out to everybody. This is going to be the special of my 150 subscribers in YouTube and my to get to 50 followers in Twitch, man, which I'm really happy about. So thank you guys for all the support that you're giving me. And as always, I do hope you enjoy. Peace.